Wow! Just one strand of hair can support about 3 ounces. On average, a person has about 150,000 strands. And when your hair is working as a team, it can support about 12 tons. That's two elephants. Um, not counting the peanuts. Your brain generates electricity, and it'd be enough to light up a small light bulb, if you could only figure out how. It doesn't hurt to cut your nails or hair, because the only part that's alive is under the skin. Also, nails grow faster in summer than in winter, even in places where there's not much difference between the seasons. Also, nails grow faster on your writing hand, probably because you use it more often and that stimulates the nails more. It looks like the pinky finger is weak, but that's not true at all. Without it, you'd lose 50% of your hand strength. It usually works together with your ring finger to provide power. The other three are more for grabbing stuff. Oh, and just like fingerprints, your tongue has a unique print too. But you can't use it to unlock your phone, at least not yet. Also, your tongue has a lot of fat in it. If you gain weight, your tongue does too. There's acid in your stomach that breaks down food. The acid is so strong that it could eat right through a piece of wood. The total length of all blood vessels in an adult is close to 100,000 miles. That's four times around the equator. In your lifetime, you produce enough saliva to fill two swimming pools. Our ancestors needed goosebumps to make their body hair stand on end and scare away any bad guys. We don't need that anymore, but we still get them because we haven't evolved enough yet to get rid of this feature. Now, you've probably never noticed, but you mostly only breathe through one nostril at a time. Every few hours, the nostrils switch jobs. That's why only one nostril gets stuffy when you have the flu. Most people think they have five senses, but that's not true. Scientists don't yet know themselves, but they think there's more than 20. There's sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. And there are other senses like time, hunger, and thirst. Then there's proprioception, the sense of where your body is in space. The brain can't always tell the difference between intense happiness and intense sadness. It gets that you're experiencing a very strong emotion, but sometimes it gets a bit confused. That's why you might cry when you're very happy. Your eyes stay about the same size your whole life, but your nose and ears don't. That'd be so weird. Back in the day, all humans had brown eyes. Other eye colors developed as a result of a random mutation. Scientists think that while the first humans appeared on Earth around 6 million years ago, the first blue-eyed person appeared only 10,000 years ago. So it's pretty likely that all blue-eyed people on the planet have the same ancestor. Uncle Bob! All bones in the human body are connected to each other, except one. The hyoid bone is U-shaped and located at the base of the tongue, holding it in place. Bones are stronger than steel. A strong, healthy bone could, in theory, handle the weight of five pickup trucks. Still, they're not the strongest body part. The strongest is tooth enamel. It's made of a bunch of different materials that make it damage-resistant. Teeth live a long time, lasting for hundreds of years. But of course, you still need to take care of them. They're the only body part that can't heal itself. Your heart works non-stop and beats around 3 billion times over the course of your lifetime. Just like your heart, your tongue never takes a vacation. Even when you sleep, it helps push saliva down your throat. By the way, where do you rest your tongue? If you keep it on the bottom of your mouth, you're doing it wrong. This posture might lead to some neck and jaw pain. If you keep it jammed up against your teeth, you're doing it wrong too. It can cause your teeth to shift and might lead to a bad bite. Instead, try to keep it sort of halfway, about a half an inch away from your teeth. Let's see how many rare body features you or your friends have. Elf-like ears are pretty rare. They are different because of the pointy part on the outside. There's an additional cartilage fold in the middle area around the part we know as the scapha. Most people are right-handed, while about 10% of them are left-handed. But there are those with no preference for using a left or right hand. They can play guitar, use scissors, write, and perform all other activities with any hand they want. Only 1% of those can do it, and we know them as ambidextrous. 
And if you can talk out of both sides of your mouth, you may have a future in politics. Less than one-third of the population can flare the nostrils on command. The muscle in charge of this is weak because we have nothing to use it for. That's why most people can't do such things with their nostrils on command. People that live in Nepal and Tibet have a specific gene that allows them to breathe at such high altitudes. Most people feel sick in such conditions, but they are unique because they can breathe normally. It's a super-athlete gene they have there. You can trace it back to Denosovans, a group that lived in the mountainous areas around Asia around 40,000 years ago. This gene brings them a higher level of oxygen-carrying hemoglobin. That's why the body can distribute oxygen more efficiently, so, unlike us, they won't feel oxygen-deprived when performing certain tasks at such altitudes. Arcus salinus is also pretty rare. It's a white or gray arc you can see above and below the outer region of the cornea. In other words, the clear dome-like thing that covers the front part of your eye. It's something common in older people. This arc may become a complete ring around the iris, the colored portion of the eye. Some people naturally don't need to sleep too much. The majority of us cannot take a couple of nights of lost sleep without consequences. But a small percentage out there has this special gene that allows them to get away with sleeping 6 or even fewer hours, which is about 2 hours less than average. From 1-3% to of the population has this so-called clock gene. They can be more productive because they don't feel tired as we do when we sleep less. Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and some other famous historical figures were some of them. Now, most people have three cones in their eyes, so we can see a broad color spectrum. But some have a rare fourth cone. We call them tetrachromats, and because of this feature, they can see up to 100 million colors. The rest of us average folks see about 1 million colors. It's a rare body feature you can mostly find in women. Have you heard of heterochromia? It's a rare condition where people have eyes of different colors or different colored sections in each eye. Sometimes this condition can lead to differences in color in some other parts of the body like hair or skin. Or it can result in irises with two different hues. Heterochromia is a condition that happens because, due to genetics, some people have unevenly distributed melanin in their bodies, and only 1% of the population has it. Chimerism is a rare genetic condition where a person has two completely different sets of DNA, which we call genomes, in their body. One genome is predominant in one organ or generally one area of the person's body, whereas the other is in other tissues or organs. Even animals can have this condition. Both animals and humans with chimerism can even have two different blood types in their body simultaneously, and we may be talking about different amounts of each of those types. Up, oh, the phone's ringing. Must be something urgent. At 11 p.m.? Only, all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. Ooh. That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night when nothing distracts you. Hearing noise in your ears is called tinnitus. It's quite common and affects 15-20% to 20 of people. Tinnitus starts in the part of your inner ear shaped like a snail. It's called the cochlea. Your middle ear picks up sound waves. They get translated into electrical impulses in the inner ear. Then, sensory nerves carry these impulses to your brain. If your inner ear works incorrectly, your brain can misinterpret the sounds. Tinnitus occurs when there are some changes in the cochlea's nerve. They can be caused by loud noise, like chainsaws, jackhammers, loud music, or shouting. Tinnitus can start after a head, neck, or ear injury, or after you begin to take certain medications. You can also hear ringing in your ears if you have some blood pressure issues. Elsewhere, in the amazing human body, some of the bacteria living in your gut can produce electricity. Shocking! They give off electrons, and this creates tiny electrical currents. That's likely to be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. 
Humans are the only animals that have chins. Even our closest genetic relatives, gorillas and chimps, lack this small piece of bone that extends forward from the jaw. Their lower jaws slant down and back from their front teeth. Scientists still haven't figured out this mystery. The opinions about why people are made this way differ. Some researchers think chins help us chew our food. Others are sure they have something to do with speaking. A few of us think it's simply a special place to grow a goatee. Blinking keeps your eyes clean and moist. But that's not all. Every time you blink, you take a micro nap. Researchers from Washington University have found out that blinking makes your attention sharper and works as a teeny recharge. Ever seen tiny dots traveling in squiggly lines, especially when you're looking at a bright blue sky? These dots are only visible for a second or so and might look like itty-bitty worms. Those are your white blood cells moving through the capillaries in front of the retina. That's the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eyes. Curiously, most people don't even notice the dots unless asked to pay attention. The pineal gland in your brain handles the production of melatonin. That's the very hormone that regulates your sleep patterns. The gland looks like a pine nut, and that's how it got its name. The human brain is 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd be gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. For comparison, the average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. But unlike other muscles in your body, these aren't situated around a supporting bone. The tongue structure is similar to an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacles. Your body emits visible light. Uh, that's why they call me Sunny. <laughs> You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals, like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't breathe and swallow at the same time. That's because whatever we swallow and the air we breathe travel down the same path, at least at first. It's like there's a little guy directing traffic down there. Your eyes can breathe. The cornea is the only body part that doesn't have a direct blood supply. It gets oxygen right from the air. That's why when it's dry outside, your eyes might get a bit itchy. Everyone dreams. Some people say they've never dreamt a night in their life. But they just never remember any of their dreams. Some scientists think that the dreaming stage is followed by an active forgetting stage. It's probably because dreams aren't exactly full of important information, and our brain needs to clean up some extra space for something more useful. Those who are lucky enough to remember their dreams still end up forgetting about half within 5 minutes of waking up, and after 10 minutes, it's usually gone for good. When you blush, the lining of your stomach turns red too. It happens because blood starts to flow around more when you're embarrassed, as your body gets ready for something stressful to happen. Your face and stomach lining get more of it, turning them red. Also, humans are the only animals who can blush, or at least the only ones where you can see it so obviously. During one lifetime, the average human grows 590 miles of hair. 
the average man, if he never shaved, would have a 30-foot-long beard. Hair grows a little faster in warm climates because heat stimulates faster circulation in our bodies. Everything you'd ever need to know about you is all written down in one strand of hair. From a single hair, a scientist could tell you what you've been eating your whole life and what kind of environment you've lived in. On average, one human eats their way through 100,000 pounds of food in one lifetime. That's like 10 big hippos worth of food. Lips are one of the most sensitive parts of the human body. They have loads of nerve endings, even more than your fingers. Also, lip skin is very thin, so you can actually see the blood capillaries inside. That's why lips are red or pink, unlike the rest of your body. Lips are also very sensitive to sun damage, so remember to apply sunscreen on them. It'll help to preserve their health and fullness over time. In addition to your fingerprints, your iris, and your tongue, your lips are also unique. The total surface of your lungs is about the same as a tennis court. <coughs> Coughs and sneezes are real fast travelers. A cough can get up to 50 miles per hour. A sneeze is even faster, almost 100 miles per hour. Unless you use your fingers to help you, it's impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. Scientists don't really know what's going on there. Some say it's just a reflex, so you can't control it. Others think it happens to shield your eyes from whatever's flying out. All humans literally glow. The light comes from your body heat. It's actually a thousand times less intense than you're capable of seeing, but still awesome. The largest flash drive in the world is actually your brain. Well, anyone's brain. The neurons in it combine together in such a way that your storage capacity is about a million gigabytes. It's enough to hold 3 million hours of movies. That's like a 300-year-long movie night. Hey, pass the popcorn! You start feeling thirsty when you lose about 1% of your body weight. If you lose 5%, you might even feel like fainting. Fingers don't have muscles that make them move. The muscles that do that are located in the palm and the forearm. The word muscle actually comes from the old Latin word for mouse. That's what the Romans thought their biceps looked like. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.